everybody, want to wheeze them here. I tried really hard to get a better angle of all this, and it just it doesn't really pan out well. So, needless to say, we have taken a look at uh, Super Mario Odyssey. We've got the live streams going on Twitch, exporting them over to YouTube. Uh, last night, we took a look at the Collector's Edition Strategy Guide, and what we're going to do now is finally get into the Amiibo now. These are probably three of my favorite Amiibo ever. Uh, they're extremely well done. I haven't even unboxed them. I'm just gauging by the packaging, the presentation, the aesthetics that I can see in the packaging. They look really, really good. Uh, the way these are sold, you can go the route of a single pack. Maybe you don't care to have all three. Maybe you prefer... I don't know what your logic will be, but they're $12.99 standard price. Um across the board for each one of them or you can do the triple pack you'll save a little bit of money now what i have seen locally is the triple pack is basically non-existent i was very fortunate and i pre-ordered it uh, i had to do like some in-store thing at gamestop to have it ordered online and shipped to me i did this back in like it was july 1st was the date actually uh, and so my thoughts are since it is apparently the more rare uh, option I am going to keep this thing sealed uh, but again whether you want to just have a set of these for display or if you want to have a set of these to use in the game this is the more economical solution honestly for display purposes it's cool to have the three of them together but if you were going to fan them out a little bit the artwork is a little bit uh, better presented on the singles because they can kind of you get the idea it's downscale just a little bit to fit on the triple pack so that's sort of the dilemma you face a can you find this uh, b if you can it's a better deal financially whether you intend to just display them or use them and then if it is for display only do you prefer the triples where they're together in a nice tidy package or do you prefer the singles where the artwork's a little bigger uh, and that is something you will have to decide on your own. But since the triple pack seems to be uh, the more difficult thing to track down, I'm going to go ahead and unbox the single pack versions. If funds will allow it, what I hope to do, preferably before Christmas, when there will probably be a huge run on all of this stuff, is to pick up another set of the singles to keep sealed. It's a bad habit. I got it from my grandma. The concept being that eventually, someday, these could be worth a lot of money. And, of course, they're going to be worth more if they are in sealed mint packaging. So that's what we're going to go with. But I reserved these at GameStop. I got to pick them up in the store, so I got them Saturday uh, when I went, as opposed to having to wait until Tuesday on that. But we're going to go ahead and open Peach, because after all, she's apparently the whole reason this thing is happening, right? Bowser uh, is trying to steal her hand in marriage. Uh, he goes to the Cappy Kingdom. He captures the Tierra. Cappy finds Mario after he tries to save Peach. The duo is formed, and that's sort of the synopsis behind the game. You gotta stop the wedding, essentially. So this is Peach. I guess that's like her shocked bridal face, if you will. Got the Super Mario Odyssey logo. You've got Peach. What I love about this is there is no price tag that I had to remove. That is the way they should be done. She looks really good. She actually, in my opinion, has less detail than Bowser or Mario. That's just my personal opinion. But she looks fan freaking fantastic. So, coming around here, finally, we have the Switch artwork here. The 3DS, if it's a new 3DS, you can just tap down on the lower screen. If you got an old school 3DS like me, you need the 1999 reader. Which, oddly enough, looks an awful lot like Uncle Amiibo that you will come across in the game. And no, I'm not making this up. NFC Touchpoint Pad, because I assume these will work retroactively. Uh, if you wanted to unlock a Peach or a Mario or a Bowser racing suit, you can probably accomplish that with these. I haven't tried it, but I'm assuming that's why they have the Wii U shown. There's her artwork again. You can use it with the Super Mario Odyssey game and... Dun, 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 life Up Hearts will appear. Uh, I've checked the strategy guide on this. These are the only three that it covers in detail, at least that I've seen thus far, at the front of the strategy guide. And basically, if you're in standard mode... You can go from three hearts to six, uh, which you'll come across those fairly frequently. Then apparently in assist mode, you start with six hearts and you can go from six to nine. So needless to say, three hearts is three hearts. It can probably save your life, and that's kind of where the name comes from, right? Amiibo Transformation. This is interesting. Kind of creepy. Some people will love it. Some people will hate it. Some people will just simply not be able to unsee what I'm showing you here. 
this unlocks the costume and it's Peach's dress and apparently Mario can wear it. So uh, that is pretty much it there, huh? Yeah, nothing, uh, everything else is a foreign language. So with that said, let's begin the tedious process of opening this. I almost hate to do this because these are sealed beautifully. Like for something that I picked up in store at GameStop, these are like in really good shape. A lot of times with the Amiibo, uh, you'll try to find one that's like the best condition if you plan to keep it sealed and it'll be sort of disappointing. Like the packaging will be roughed up. In particular, the cardboard will kind of be bent. And so, again, if you're going for that effect, that's something you have to take into mind. But, um, if I could get this out of here. The only reason you really need to open these at all is because Nintendo puts that inside. What is that? That's a piece of foil. It's cardboard with foil on the top side. That keeps the NFC in the Amiibo's base from being read by your 3DS, your Switch, your Wii U, or the NFC reader uh, peripheral, if you will. A lot of people, uh, and I can't blame them to save money, they will come and they will snap these down at the 45. They will slide Peach out. It's still such a beautiful setup. Everything is just uniform with Amiibo. And you can simply remove this, slide Peach back in, reseal the packaging, if that's what you want to do, and kind of save yourself the trouble of having to have two sets. Then you can have it sealed and still have it functional. Me personally, I think there's a lot to be said for having them loose and readily available to you, especially for display purposes. Similarly, the packaging is so good on this series, and these are the only three in the series currently. Will we get more? Possibly. Uh, would be really cool if we did. I'd personally like to have like a Cappy. <laughs> I've only been through, you know, uh, Bonington and uh, Cascade Falls, I guess. Uh, or Cascade Kingdom. What was it? Something Falls? Try? Can't even think of it, but nonetheless... I think there would be a lot of opportunities if they decide to go that route. So here is Peach. That is her shocked face. That's probably our thumbnail, too. She's very attractive here. I mean, she's done up quite nicely. She's sort of got like a... I guess turquoise would be the closest color. Kind of like a sky blue turquoise. Uh, earrings and a necklace. She's got the big sort of shocked face you know princess in the headlights type of a vibe going on there is tiara uh, that is actually the sister of cappy if i'm remembering correctly uh she's got the what is this crud called uh weddings are not my strong suit and veil type of i don't know <laughs> whatever that crud is this is actually kind of cool because this is it's kind of, it's like a translucent vibe, but you don't see through it, if that makes any sense. There's also like a crud ton of glitter in that thing. Uh, so very wedding-esque, I must say. Uh, here down on the bottom, she sort of got like a pearlescent. Every single one of these, it's like a pimpy pearlescent white, is the best way to describe it. And it just looks really good. This is actually the same thing. It's almost like lampshade, translucency type of material. Um, but it's not translucent, if that makes any sense. Maybe if we had light behind it, it would be, but uh, it's not like see-through or anything. She's a little classier than that, right? But there's really not a lot of detail here, just mainly the facial features, expression, the jewelry, and the tiara. Uh, everything else is just very subtle, traditional wedding uh, dress style, <laughs> if you will. So there's the Amiibo base made in China. There's our numbers. I still have not been able to track down the Super Mario series Princess Peach, which I'm kind of sick about, but I do have the one from Smash Bros. It's very ornate, very... These are the first Amiibo lines, right? Uh, they've come a long way since then. They've gotten a little bit bigger, as you can kind of see the difference between the two. But I'd really, really like to get the Super Mario series. That's going to be the red base uh, for Peach. Granted, this is a red base as well, but uh, look it up. She's got those three different options. And this one, though, it's a little more dainty. It's more of a brawl, kind of ornate feel. Side by side with this one, there they are. But uh, like I said, I wish I had the Super Mario series standard Peach to show you, but I don't. So uh, I keep trying to find it. It's just for whatever reason, it's not out there. Nonetheless, hopefully this does a good job of showcasing this amiibo to you. If you were curious about what it looks like out of the packaging, what you really can't see is the backside. And that's what the backside looks like. So uh, very cute, very regal, very princess-like, if you will. I should mention the gloves are a nice touch. 
I guess what they're like, uh, little passy elbow forearm area. Once again, there's probably proper terminology for this, but I will admit I spent very little of my life thinking about weddings or planning what dress I'm going to wear. So uh, I've had people say, hey, do you like this wedding dress I tried on? But alas, I, I don't know much about them. So uh, that's all I can give you. <laughs> but, uh, I'm sure Mario finds her attractive and we know Bowser does and that's what matters, I guess. So uh, nonetheless, hopefully, like I said, this helps you out. And again, in game, she is going to give you the life up part, which is a pretty big deal. And that is why you will either want to remove this from the packaging and reseal it or simply have this available. Now, in addition to that, you get the wedding dress costume you can put on Mario. But what does Peach do? Does this Peach have the same functionality? I wouldn't think so, but I don't know, and I intend to find out, so make sure you're following me on Twitch. I will stream that possibly this weekend where I'm just going to take every single amiibo I own, throw it at the game, and see what it does. So, would have already done that if I didn't have a real job, but hey, what can you do, right? So, that said, this is Peach. She looks pretty sweet. Uh, the packaging, again, truly, though, I have to say, I said the same thing with Imaginators. I sincerely meant it. This single pack just... It's awesome. I like it better than the, I thought I would like the triple pack better for display. After seeing these singles in person, these look really, really good. And I don't think anyone would argue that. So, like I said, money's a little tight, but if I can, I would love to pick up another set of three of the singles and just have them sealed again. I blame my grandmother for that, but I'm sure many of you are the same way. And again, if Nintendo would just not put these stupid foil tabs in here, uh, we would we would not have to go to those extremes. So, nonetheless, hope you enjoyed. Hope you're enjoying Super Mario Odyssey. Once again, my plan is to stream as much of it as I can, even though I have a capped internet. Uh, so at certain points in time, I may have to scale back, do old-fashioned recording and uploading offline. The good news there, it would be in a slightly higher quality, actually a lot higher quality, because uh, I can't stream in 1080. I'll just be honest, my internet will not handle that. Uh, so nonetheless, it is a fantastic game. Uh, if you've got a Switch, if you want a Switch, this is a system seller. This is a really, really well done game. I'm having a great time with it. Uh, everyone in the stream, everyone that I've seen comment on the YouTube videos, uh, people are loving Super Mario Odyssey. So uh, that said, I will quit rambling. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, we will catch you back here in the next one. Adios.